Today on the channel I thought it would be nice to take a look at these uh, Nipex Cobra water pump pliers and these are actually the uh, mini Cobra you can see how small they are by my finger here uh, the part number being 87011251 uh, the 125 being the length that they are 125 millimeters long um, if you're looking for a small pair of um, water pump pliers I can highly recommend these little fellows um, for, for EDC especially anyway um, I got these from FFX tools uh, and they cost me 21 pounds uh, they were delivered very quickly indeed as uh, usual from FFX tools right then let's uh, take a closer look at these fellows shall we guys and we'll start at the jaws as you can see they've been uh, quite nicely finished here and on the tip as well a bit of grinding going on there same on the other side um, I don't know what this little uh, din dimple is for apart from looking like an eye looks like some sort of dinosaur doesn't it guys um, we have the little push button here that you use to adjust this uh, manufacturer's jaws there we go there we are very easy to do and of course there are the uh, wrap around style as well that you got this this main the upper jaw goes through the lower jaws making it quite stable to use I've got some uh, larger versions of these downstairs in my workshop and they're not very good at all we'll have a look at those ones later on there's Nipex Cobra made in Germany and here we see the nice um, soft grips they put on stuff these days I quite like this material it's very comfortable uh, and there's a spring for the push button torque screw there by the looks of things right then so I spent quite a bit of time looking around for a small pair of water pump pliers like these something I can EDC carry around with me uh, most days if I wish um, these ones are just the right size 125 millimeters long perfect little things they are you can see how small they are when they sit in my hand uh, got some nice little cushioned grips going on at the end here they feel nice and strong and sturdy very well made um, when I first got them I took a look at the uh, jaws here and I thought to myself well the jaws don't exactly line up very well As you can see they're at a strange angle I thought well that's a bit odd but uh, then I thought about it for a moment or two and um, when you get a nut in here you can see uh, how good the design actually is it's very cleverly designed this bit I've also got some little um, serrations going on just there as well as the end here on the nose so you've got quite a range of um, gripping options for these little fellows you can get out with something quite large by the looks of it or if you want a, you know, a great deal of pressure exerting on something you could get it in here how easy is it to adjust these jaws well you simply open them a little bit push the button through and that's it snap them into position and you've got uh, quite a range of different sizes you can have here because you've got these little uh, teeth on each side of it <clears throat> and uh, you can get quite you know a, a, a fine adjustment on these little fellows however small you want them or large you want them they're quite good and they're quite comfortable to hold even my big hands as well look so they're quite good um, what I'm going to do is guys what we'll do is we'll uh, whip them down to the workshop it's a bit cold down there guys so you might want to borrow my um, one of my hats here <clears throat> it's very cold in the workshop um, but what we'll do is we'll take the uh, Cobras down there and we'll give them a bit of a workout okay then guys here we are in the workshop with the little uh, Nipex mini Cobras um, I'll just show you the other uh, two pairs that I have okay so here they are um, I purchased this set uh, probably back in the late 80s for myself not a very good set at all uh, this set here uh, were owned by my father-in-law I do believe they both operate on the same uh, way they've only got like um, you know just like a standard pair of pliers there's nothing special about them at all really as you can see they don't uh, wrap around here it's just uh, just look like an ordinary pair of pliers really and they sort of hinge on these bits here which is the adjustment 
Um, nothing too clever really about them. Uh, one of the troubles I've found with these ones is they can sort of like, um, as you put too much pressure on them, they can ride over the little teeth like here and they're not very good at all really because they're, uh, you know, you have to then unlock them. They're a right pain. But um, what make of these ones then? Draper by the looks of it. It's chrome vanadium too, so interesting. Right then, so what can we do with the uh, mini Cobras in? Well I suppose for a start we could take a look at how much um, pressure we can exert with the little jaws here. And to do that what I shall do is bring in this length of 15mm copper pipe. We'll see if we can't crush the end of it. Let's give it a go. Just apply, adjust the jaws up a bit. Try it like that. Get them in there. Hang on, let's get so you guys can see. There we go, right in. Let's give it a go then. Yep, that was quite easy then. Flatten those nicely. Let's adjust it again. Right in. See what we can do. Like so then. Yep. Now what we've got on here, we've got a sweaty joint on here. This is a bit heavier. Let's see what we can do with that then, shall we guys? Let's see if we can squash that end up as well. Yeah, you can see the solder falling out as well. Just the jaws again. But there we are. You can see all the solder falling out the end of it. So you can exert quite a bit of uh, pressure with the little Nipex pliers. Oh, the solder's just falling out the other end actually, but there we are. We've squared it off, look. And there's a little bit of solder that just fell out. Okay, so I've got some varying sizes of uh, nuts and bolts here. So what we'll do is, we'll start with the uh, smaller um, nuts and bolts here. We'll put them in the vise. Get them clamped in there nicely, like so. Right, let's start with this, what I believe to be an M4 nut and bolt here. You can see it's nice and loose. We'll bring in the uh, mini Cobras. You can see just how nicely the jaws will actually fit onto a nut. Perfectly designed by the looks of it. Give it some torque here. Now that's got a good amount of um, torque going on there. Can't loosen it, so that's good. Right, get them back on the other way and we'll get it off hopefully. There we go. Tightened and loosened. Right, let's step it up a bit. A much bigger nut and bolt this time, guys. Uh, and it is nice and loose too. Uh, let's check the jaw size on this. Now I think we're going to have to um, adjust it up a little bit. Let's try that size. Yep, I should say that's the size. Let's get some torque going on this one as well. Blimey, yeah. God. That's nice and tight there, definitely. Let's right, see if we can get it undone again. Alrighty, give it a go. Try not to do me knuckles in at the same time. God, blimey, yeah. That was done up nice and tight. For a small pair of um, water pump pliers, that's not bad at all. Right. Something larger still, let's get these two out of the way. Now I'm going to have to adjust the jaws, I think, so let's try that size. That might do it. There we go. And we'll give it a shove. Oh, I think it's just uh, come away from the vice, it's come loose in the vice, guys. Okay, let's give that a go. Right, let's see how well we can tighten it up. It's nice and loose at the moment. Right, get the um, mini cobras on there. And give it a go. <laughs> oh, there we go. That is definitely tight. Can we get it undone? Oh, yep. So you can actually do some quite large-ish uh, Nuts with this little fella, by the looks of it. Cool, yeah. I'll tell you what, I've got an, uh, something else we can try with it. 
Alrighty then, so some of my older viewers will know exactly what we used to use nut and bolts like this for. Okay, so this is just a small one. But what about this little beauty then? The size of that compared with the um, Nipex. We'll see if we can get this uh, nut moving on here. Okay, so what we have here is a ginormous nylock nut that I've jammed the wrong way round onto this thread. So I'm going to see if we can uh, get it to turn it round with the um, little uh, nipex. Let's get it in the vise. Alright, let's hope the vise can actually, um, there we go, keep hold of it. Can we get the um, little nipex onto the nut? Well, almost. Well, let's just give it a go, guys. Right, in, in reality, this nut is way too big for these little nipex. But I'm going to give it a go, guys. I'm going to give it a go, see if we can actually uh, turn it round a bit. Let's have a look. Can we do it or not? What do you think the betting is, yes or no? Oh, blimey, no, it's not. <laughs> yes, it is. There we go. God. Wow. That took some effort. God, slipping off a bit. Try again. Uh, oh, blimey. God. Yeah, it's taking some shifting, but you can do it. Uh, whew. Well, that was a very big ask of the little Nipex water pump pliers here, but they did it, and they didn't complain about it either, guys. Brilliant, nice. Okay then, guys, so if you're in the market for a small pair of um, um, water pump pliers to EDC to carry around with you, these are a quite nice size, and they're not all that heavy either, actually. They're quite lightweight. Um, they're very good. The quality's definitely there, guys. Um, I don't, we haven't managed to damage the uh, jaws at all, even working with the uh, super huge nuts and bolts. Uh, I haven't broken them, they've not twisted, not bent. Actually, uh, quite good um, items. Alright then guys, uh, please let me know if you carry a pair of these around with you every day and what you use them for. I'm sure I'll get a lot of use out of these in the future. They look quite good, they're uh, very well made, good quality. I like them actually. I recommend these little fellas if you need something small just to chuck in your pocket. Uh, we've managed to crush some copper pipe, do some uh, nuts and bolts up with it, including this huge great thing here. Alrighty then guys, don't forget you can support my channel by clicking a like, uh, you can subscribe to the channel and you can also share the review with your friends as well because let's face it they might be after a little pair of um, uh, water pump pliers too. You can also follow me on Instagram, there's my Google Plus. Uh, there are a couple of guys out there helping me out via my Patreon page at the moment, so thank you very much guys, I do appreciate the help. Alrighty, so what a cool pair of pliers these are, I like them a lot. I'm going to get a lot of use out of these I think in the future guys. Alright then, uh, don't forget to uh, pop over again for another review in the near future. Thanks for watching this review. Hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments down below. Uh, if you've got any questions or comments on these little fellows, again, leave them down below. I'll take a look if I'm not too busy. And, um, well, basically, I'll catch you here again at Rathbone Manor sometime in the near future then. Laters!